Okay, so you're interested in seeing uh, who has permission to what and uh, on your site. Uh, this video uh, will show you how to look at who has permission on either your school website, uh, department website, or department intranet site. So once again, uh, the following steps uh, apply to either of those three sites. Uh, first step you want to make sure is that you're logged in, obviously. Um, and then uh, just click on site actions and go all the way down to site permissions <coughs> when the page loads I, I want you to look at just a handful of groups um, and I'll show you what the differences or I'll tell you what the difference is between them um, you'll see the name of either your school or department followed by the words uh, either approvers members and owners the differences uh, between the three is anybody inside the approvers group could obviously approve changes uh, anybody that's in the members group could uh, contribute or you know make edited uh, edits or uh, changes to the site um, but for instance if that set person is not in the approvers they could only make changes but not approve and then uh, subside owners we usually uh, typically only put uh, either the principal of that school or the director of a certain department into that owner's group and um, that is pretty much it so if you want to see who's in the approvers group just click on the group and then when it loads it's going to list the, the users on here so any of these two users can make changes uh, I mean could, could approve changes uh, if you go back you can see who's in the members group and once again anybody in here can make changes but cannot approve changes unless if they're also in the approvers group and then subside owners typically we put the principal in here okay and that means that they're the owners of the site and that's pretty much it